Julia lives in Canada and she sent us uh, four desserts from Epicure and this is one of them and this is the eggnog cheesecake mix that I'm going to be I'm going to be making this eggnog cheesecake. Now, you can use um uh make your own crust. However, I bought a Keebler Ready crust. Uh, the gram, so that's what we're going to be using because I want this to be uh, just as simple as possible. But Epicure, um, if you look the company up, it's epicure.com. They believe in clean eating and clean food. So the ingredients for this packet are organic cane sugar, nutmeg, vanilla bean, organic cinnamon, and spices. And that's it. It's uh, very, very simple. Uh, it says kosher, gluten free, non GMO. Uh, and I took a picture of the back for calories and all that, but let me just say this. You could probably throw all that non-GMO and gluten-free and organic and all that out the window when you buy your ready-made pie crust. It's okay, though. Julia wanted us to try this to see how good it was, and so we wanted to try it. You it uh, it's also when by the time you add all the other stuff you have to add into it you may be adding a bunch of that other yeah, stuff. yeah i'm there. sure we're adding a lot into it uh there is a lot that you have to add uh, to each one of these but that's okay uh we need two eight ounce packages of cream cheese four eggs now this is not even to make your own crust and then I'm, uh, I have, I bought the pie crust to make it easier. And then you need one cup of vanilla Greek yogurt. And we're just uni using the Dan and Light and Fit, uh, the 80 calorie. And I just put it in here. Um, it's about a package and a half of one of these cups. And so now it says, uh, for the filling, you blend two, the two eight ounce packages of cream cheese with the cheesecake mix until smooth. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open my cream cheese. Okay, now you take your packet, take your packet, and you're supposed to cream it, um, what did it say? Mix until smooth. And you beat in four eggs, one at a time, and you add in your Greek yogurt. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. Remember, this is the, um, this is the eggnog. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it over to my mixer here. Okay, now I'm gonna add my yogurt. I think this will be easier than me trying to get it in the side while it's moving. Okay, I'm gonna mix that in. And I'm gonna take the, um, take the, um, open my pie crust. And I'm going to keep the top of this because I, we like to use these as lids. It just has a little bit of glue on there. You just pull it right off. Okay, that's good enough. I'm 
going to put this on a baking sh uh, cookie sheet just to make sure it doesn't overflow and it will bake at 325 for 40 minutes and then we'll be back. So this is how the cheesecake looks when you take it out of the oven and I'm just going to let it sit here and uh, it needs to cool off uh, to room temperature. When I left you yesterday, I was leaving this cheesecake uh, to cool to room temperature and all the directions said after that was put it in the refrigerator and let it cool before serving. It didn't even give a time like leave it in there for X amount of hours or anything like that. Just leave it in there, serve it, uh, serve it cold basically. So I left it overnight because um, we had things to do last night, so I left it overnight. And normally, uh, when Kevin and Ashley make cheesecakes, we leave them overnight, those overnight as well. So I wanted to give it a fair shake. So, it smells really, really good. I don't know, it smells like a pumpkin pie. I don't it's know a, why. It's, yeah. I know it's supposed to be eggnog, but eggnog. it reminds me yeah, of it Yeah, and it does me too. I think it's the color. Could be. But there's some spices in there too. Yeah, there's, there's some, some spices cinnamon. that kind of remind yes. of pumpkin. Maybe an allspice or something. I don't know. The nutmeg and stuff is gonna, of course. Okay, I'm not the best at getting stuff out of here. There you go. Now, do you want to get that close to the camera, or do you just want me to take a picture at the end? Yeah, I'll take a picture at the end. <gasps> Whoop! I don't want to drop it on the table. Yes, I just dropped mine on the table. <laughs> I just did that. That was my fault for not pulling the, the plate closer to me. Okay. It's the color of, of an eggnog. It I is. Know, it's a, a little yellower, but... Mmm. I like the consistency, really good. That's very good. I love the flavors. Your flavors are good. It could, but, be, could be a little spicier, but. But the flavors don't remind me of eggnog. Mm -hmm. The flavors remind me of pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they really do. And it's funny because Julia has sent us a pumpkin pie, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm thinking the pumpkin pie has like a Oreo pie crust. Yeah. Or is it the other one? She sends us like four different things. It might be the other one. I might be mistaken. But mm -hmm. I can't wait to try it to compare it to this one mm -hmm. uh, because that does taste like pumpkin pie to me. It, it's very similar to pumpkin pie. It's, it's good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. and like I said, I like the texture. You know, the flavor is good. Mm -hmm. It really wasn't that hard to make. It was just a, no. you have to buy a few ingredients to add to it. But that's, right. you know. No, this okay. was not hard to make at all. And I know... <clears throat> Julia said between she and I, I would be the first one to try it before she would. So, uh, Julia, if you're watching this and if you still haven't made it, just know it's really, really good. I like it a whole lot. The eggnog, it doesn't taste like eggnog, no. but it has a really great flavor, a really great um pumpkin spice flavor really yeah. really so um but i hope everyone else um enjoyed this video uh if you want to know more about um epicure it's e-p-i-c-u-r-e dot com and they're all about all natural ingredients of course i added my non-natural ingredients to it but they're about all natural so if you want to buy your own things um, and add to this, then you would have an all-natural uh, eggnog cheesecake. So I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching.